What's up everybody? So uh, here it is, Monday, making a new video. Um, last week I left you, the engine was still in this this coupe over here, and there was an, a great update on the MR2. Uh, turns out I went ahead and got rid of the MR2, um, and I'll show you what I got later in a later video, probably next week. But for now, we're gonna get this GSR in this uh, coupe and go from there. All right, so we got the old D16 out. And there's the empty bay. I, uh, gonna put the GSR together today. Just got all the parts in today. And now we got everything. So, uh, yeah, let's get it put together. All right, guys, I got the block all cleaned off there. Got my dowel pins in. Make sure you always put those in. OEM head gasket drops on there. You can push it through the dowel pin there. And boom, let's put this freshly machined head. Look at that nice clean surface. Let's go ahead and put that on there. All right, we got the head on. Now we're going to go ahead and put these washers and the, the nuts on, the ARP head studs down in there. And they torque to 80 foot-pounds. Do it in three steps. And then uh, on to the next thing. All right, now on to the oil pump here. I've already taken the old uh, seal out, which is this one right here, front seal. And there's an O-ring that goes right here. And I'm pretty sure it's not that one. It's going to be this one right here. Yep, so there's a part number for that one. So I'm going to get both of those on. I'm going to clean around the edge here, put some new sealing on it, and then uh, put it on there. Be back. All right, so got the oil pump all cleaned off and on. Uh, make sure everything is, uh, before you put the sealing on, you know, there's two little tabs in here. Not tabs, but marks on the that move the oil pump make sure those are lined up before you put it on make sure you don't want to put it on with sealing on there and not be lined up and smeared everywhere so i just cleaned off the water pump housing looks like someone used some silicone on top of the gasket which you don't really need to do that you just need to use the gasket here so i'm going to put this on make sure you know where your bolts are at and uh then we'll flip it over and get the oil pan on all right, we got the water pump on, new gasket. Uh, we gotta go ahead and uh, replace this rear main seal, clean all this out. Go ahead and um, clean all that off there. We'll put this on. We gotta put this on before the oil pan because of these studs. I don't feel like taking them out and stripping them or messing with the threads on these. So we'll do that. And then I'll go ahead and throw the oil pan on and uh, I'll be good to go. All right, so I got the rear main, the brand new rear main seal on with some new sealant. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, there's a gasket there. Don't forget to put that on. So I got the gasket here. I like to use the gasket instead of like uh, any kind of sealant or anything like that because that sealant can get caught up in there and clog it up, clog up the oil pump and have a bad day. So just use this um, and then put your windage tray on uh, and then clean up the, I'm gonna clean up the oil pan, put that on. Everything will be sealed up in the bottom end. I'm gonna get this thing off the uh, engine lift and put the clutch and flywheel back on, the transmission back on and uh, Actually, hold on, rewind that. I'm gonna time it, put the cams and stuff in, and time it while it's out, while it's out. It'd be a lot easier. And then do all that. And then uh, maybe put it in here today. If not, just wait till tomorrow. Be back. All right, guys, got the oil pan on. Um, now, you know, if you've been messing with Hondas for a while, even, man, I, I'm telling you what, even when I torque them all down in this correct sequence, still eventually will have an oil leak so what i like to do 
is I just put a real thin, just smear it real top coat thin uh, FIPG, which is the sealant that I use. Real thin coat around it, all the way around it, and it, it worked. Uh, I've been doing this since I've been building some H22s, and uh, it seemed to work really well. But uh, now we're going to flip this thing over, and we're going to get the cams in it, and get some oil up top, and time it. So we'll do that. All right, well, as it turns out, I can't do the timing today. So I got a broken uh, piece here. Guess I'm gonna order a new one from Honda. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off the stand, get the clutch and flywheel on it and trans on it. And then I'll be done for the day. And then when I get, I actually got to order that piece I just showed you for the timing sprocket. Um, and the new updated cap that goes in here, it just clips in instead of putting a uh, seal on around it and all that and I gotta clean, get, take the VTEC solenoid to work and clean it out because uh, it's all gooed up from all the uh, junk that was in it and then uh, yeah this thing will be ready to go in throw on the intake manifold and uh, be ready to rock and roll so I can't wait for that all right guys so it looks like the video is gonna end here I uh, cut up my pinky I got a band-aid on right now, but my wife says I need stitches and she's a nurse, so I guess I better go do it. But uh I'll pick this up tomorrow and uh finish it up in next week's video. And then I'll give you a look at the new car and the new plans for it. Alright, see you guys. Peace.